Hi, my name is Casey Miller. I'm the Vice President of Products and Strategy for CPS America. I'm here in San Diego, California at the headquarters for American Faucet. American Faucet's a manufacturer. Here in this building, we're installing a 30 kilowatt, 65 kilowatt hour energy storage system to reduce those peak demands and deliver about a three year payback period to the customer. We're gonna walk you through some close-ups of the product, which is right behind me. What you're seeing here is at the top, the CPS 30 kilowatt PCS. This is the inverter. This is the device that's doing the transformation between DC and AC and is connected to the AC 480 volt switchboard here. So this unit sits on the outside of the energy storage system. It's got its own LCD and user interface, AC DC disconnects. It's easily serviceable from the outside. On the bottom is our connection box. You can see the ethernet cabling coming in on the right hand side as well as AC power. This is where the key connections are made. They do two things. First, they bring in AC power. You can see four wires coming in, three connected to each leg of the 480 volt AC power and plus a ground. Next is a 24 volt DC power supply at the top half of the unit. This power supply is providing power to the controllers, both the BMS and the EMS system from Payson Power. Should we lose 480 volt AC power, the UPS backup would allow us to continue to control and monitor the system. And the last piece is just a breaker panel for distributing that AC power to our HVAC unit. Very simple integration, very simple interface for the installer. Now we're looking at the inside of our 30 kilowatt, 65 kilowatt hour system. At the top of the unit, you see the BMS, which is the battery management system. It's provided by LG Chem. You've got your battery connections, PCS connections, fan connections, and controller. In the middle of the unit, you can see Ethernet and Modbus type connectors. These connect to the Payson power controller in the EMS system. It's providing performance management for this unit over the life of the system. The lower half of the unit are the LG Chem batteries. These are lithium ion JH3 6.5 kilowatt hour battery modules. There's a total of 65 kilowatt hours in this system. Each one is on a slide, so it's easy to put in and, and replace. Each unit has a fan on the left-hand side that provides cooling to the unit. We installed these today in about 30 to 45 minutes. Pretty simple operation. On the right-hand side of the unit, you can see a fire suppression piece of equipment. This is from Novak. This is an automatic fire suppression solution. In case of a thermal event enclosed in the unit, this fire suppression equipment would, would be activated. The unit's also completely cooled with its own HVAC unit. That's on the left-hand side of the system, and that is maintaining plus or minus a few degrees of, of temperature variation. Uh, we're monitoring temperature, and humidity of the system and the modules. This is really important to maintain battery warranty over the life of the unit. The overall mechanical enclosure is a NEMA 3R rated enclosure and tested to be outdoors. This system happens to be installed indoors, but it's uh, designed for outdoor use. Yeah, I'm Simon Allen, the uh, president and owner of Allied Energy in Carlsbad, California, and just installed the CPS demand management battery system. As you can see, it's a very clean unit, can be installed inside or outside. But the biggest thing I've got to tell you is that it's extremely easy to install. It's plug and play. You bring the power in, you bring the data cabling in, and one day installation for a system that can bring a serious good return on investment for the customer. Thanks for tuning in. To find out more, you can go to our website at chintpowersystems.com.